What if we have a spaceship with infinite speed and just travel in a straight line? What will we see at the edge of the universe and more important, can we even go further than the edge? But in theory, there is nothing. But what is nothing? There are three important and discussed theories about this subject. First, the universe is finite and unbounded. This theory is that the universe might be finite in size but without an actual edge. In physics, a space can be finite but unbounded if it loops back on itself. A simple example is the surface of a sphere. On a sphere, you can travel in a straight line indefinitely and eventually return to your starting point without ever crossing an edge. In the same way, a three-dimensional universe could curve within a higher dimension so that traveling far enough in one direction would eventually bring you back to where you started. To imagine this better, the whole three-dimensional space is on a sphere, but not only in one direction. You can go in every direction and return at the same point after an unbelievable distance. And this can't be illustrated in three dimensions on a two-dimensional screen. The idea was first proposed by Albert Einstein in his general theory of relativity. According to relativity, the shape of space depends on its total mass and energy. If there's enough matter, space could curve enough to close in on itself. In a finite but unbounded universe, there's no edge to fall off, but the total volume is limited. Physicists have tried to detect signs of a closed universe by studying patterns in the cosmic microwave background. Certain repeating patterns, like matched circles in the sky, could indicate light has traveled around the universe more than once. So far, no clear evidence has been found, but current measurements allow for the possibility that space could be slightly closed on an extremely large scale. This type of universe would avoid the problem of infinity while still having no edge. The second idea in modern cosmology is that the universe may be infinite. This means space extends endlessly in every direction, with no boundaries, no outer edge, and no final limit. This isn't just a guess. It's a conclusion supported by both observation and theoretical models. For example, powerful telescopes today can detect light from galaxies more than 13 billion light years away. What's remarkable is that even at those extreme distances, the overall structure of the universe looks the same. Whether we look left, right, up, or down, the distribution of galaxies and the appearance of space itself remains consistent. This hints that space doesn't have a center, an edge, or any preferred direction. One of the most important pieces of evidence for this comes from the cosmic microwave background. This is the oldest light in the universe. A faint glow left over from when the universe was about 380,000 years old. When scientists measure this light, they find it's remarkably even across the entire sky. That level of consistency strongly suggests that, over enormous scales, space behaves the same everywhere. On top of that, the way light travels across the universe and how distant objects move away from us as the universe expands matches exactly what we would expect if space had no boundaries. Now this brings up an interesting question. If the universe is infinite, how can it still expand? The key is that expansion doesn't mean space stretches into something outside of itself. Instead, it means the distances between points within space increase over time. In an infinite universe, there's already an unlimited amount of space. What changes is how the existing distances grow. Some models of the universe's shape also support this idea. In mathematical terms, a flat or open universe can be infinite. Recent measurements, especially those from the Planck satellite mission, show that the geometry of the universe is extremely close to flat. This makes an infinite, expanding universe a strong possibility. If this is correct, then our observable universe, the part we can currently see, is just a tiny section of an endlessly large space. No matter how far we travel, there would always be more space beyond it. And while we can't see beyond the observable limit, the evidence suggests that space continues on without an edge. The third idea is called the multiverse hypothesis. This theory proposes that what we think of as the universe might actually be just one region within a much larger system, made up of many separate universes. In this idea, our universe could be like a bubble, one of countless others. Each of these universes might have different physical laws, different values for natural constants, and different kinds of matter and energy. 
Some might be similar to ours, while others could be completely unfamiliar. These other universes could be entirely separate from each other, or they might interact in rare and subtle ways that we don't currently understand. The multiverse hypothesis is not a single theory, but a collection of ideas that come from several important areas in theoretical physics. First, there's inflation theory. This theory describes how, shortly after the Big Bang, space itself expanded extremely quickly. In some versions of inflation theory, this rapid expansion never stops in some areas. Instead, while one region of space slows down and forms a universe like ours, other regions keep expanding, forming isolated universes in different areas of space. Each of these regions would be cut off from the others, with no way to travel or communicate between them. Another source for the multiverse idea comes from string theory. String theory tries to explain the most basic components of nature and how they interact. It predicts extra dimensions beyond the three of space and one of time that we experience. But string theory also allows for many possible ways these extra dimensions could be shaped or arranged. Each possible arrangement could lead to a universe with different laws of physics. In this view, what we call our universe would be just one possible outcome out of an enormous range of possibilities. In the multiverse hypothesis, when people ask what lies beyond the end of our universe, the answer could be other universes. In this view, space-time might be structured in a way where the limits of our observable universe mark the end of our particular region, but not the end of everything. At this point, it's important to mention that there's no direct observational evidence for the existence of other universes. Do you believe there's something beyond the edge of what we can see? Or do you think the universe simply has no edge at all? I am very interested in your opinion, so please share it in the comments. And if you found this topic interesting, hit like and subscribe for more videos that explore the questions science is still trying to answer. See you in the next video.